Good morning ladies and gentlemen. It's a bright morning today and we're going to go and let the chicks out in their new roost. They've uh, been locked up a little bit later than they should have been this morning because I'm tired. Had a rough night's sleep actually but they're keen to come out so I'll put the um, coffee there and I was hoping to get a few of them inside but I don't think we're gonna do maybe we'll just get a few of them on the outside let me pop the camera somewhere suitable maybe here I should have brought the tripod down really shouldn't I like a donkey there we go let's have a look seem to be a little bit reluctant to uh, kind of come out. You're going to attack me. You can bog off. So yeah, we've got a couple of the girls up here still. See if we can see. There we go. They're still sat up there. They're kind of just reluctant to jump down. So we'll let them acclimatise. But uh, the cuckoo moran seems happy, the black leg bar and the white leg bar. First one's out, bit of exploring of course. Brand new environment for them, straighten the leaves, that's what we want to see. So yeah, we'll give them a little bit of time to enjoy themselves. Oh, she found a worm, look. Go on, girl. Oh, straight down. Uh, remind myself, mental note, we need to put some food in the feeder and show them how to use the drinkers. So, that one's leaking there, I can see it's just dripping constantly. Um, I don't know if you can see that, probably not, actually. So we'll have a look, make sure it's not going to be a problem. And um, because we've had plenty of rain tonight, I wonder, oh yeah, it's definitely filled up the barrel a little bit more than it was, so the harvesting, uh, the rainwater harvesting seems to be working perfectly. Yeah, there's just that one that's dripping there, look. All other eight of them seem fine. Anyway, we'll come back when we've got some food and we'll do a little bit more uh, chicken watching later on. Well, the feeder seems to work pretty well, and there's literally tons of capacity in there. There's only a little bit in the bottom of this feed tub, but I think we'll easily fit two or three bags into there, to be fair. Only thing that worries me is whether it's going to kind of go off beforehand, but it shouldn't do. What's she doing under there, the nutcase? There we go, girl, get yourself in. A little bit small these banties to be fair to reach into that food trough but all the others seem to be enjoying it yeah I might put a stone down there so they can stand on it a, uh, a brick of some sort but they'll get in these four big girls will get bored in a minute I'm kind of thinking is it big enough for 10 or 15 hens. It should be. They've got access to it 24 7, really, haven't they? But they're loving it. Well, last night they all roosted up in the bars, which is as they should. 
they've not really made a mess of the uh, the bed in I've moved the drinker around the corner a little bit so I can put these hay bales underneath the uh, the roofing sheets properly and I put a little bit extra up there just to keep the water off them they were just getting just getting nicked by the rain so I want them to stay dry but I think they're loving it already aren't you girls yes and uh, to top it off we ordered some more fertile eggs yesterday so we'll be hatching some more ladies out soon hopefully now Gem has helped me demolish the remaining three shed panels that's in a big pile there we've moved the old chicken pen exposed oh, what is really quite a quagmire so the plan at the moment is to level this section out here and I think we're going to pop a shed there and then at some point we have to try and level all this grass because it slopes right down and it causes this edge where the path is to become really quite muddy kind of slopes down into a V which is not a good thing I think we might have to take all this fake grass up and oh god it's becoming a bigger job than I wanted it to be but it is what it is I suppose so I need to go down and do some orders at the uh, brewery uh, but yeah next job excavate this corner and make it as level as possible which I think is going to be quite a job in its own right so I've just been up to the unit Stuart's brought some timber back for us to start building a new shed in the back garden I don't think I, was, I wasn't going to put one up but we may as well start a new project don't we because there's nothing going on at work so this section here I'm not doing it today because it's starting to rain you probably can't see it on the camera but I'm going to pull it out 8 foot by 12 foot base cemented bricks leveled up and then we'll build it from the ground up and then once we've done that we can start landscaping the rest of the garden because it's really kind of pissing me off what do you think then girls do you like your new abode I think you like it don't you girl she's five years old these old bantams are you see and uh, yeah they're getting on a little bit aren't you ladies so I'm sure they're really appreciating having just a little bit of dry uh, an interesting shelter for them to visit around in. Anyway, I think we'll wrap it up at that, folks. Just a short one today. Not much going on. Um, but really, really chuffed with the pen. Really chuffed with the pen. So let's just uh, take a step back before we go and have a look at her in all her glory. Oh, she's beautiful, folks. I need to paint this wall as well before I uh, build the shed. Don't let me forget that, will you? See you on the next one.